using the stamp tool. I'm gonna show you one way to edit a mock-up in a quick way without actually buying mock-ups or using a pre-made template, which I do recommend. This is just a quick way to use it on certain specific situations. So I'm gonna go through, I've typed in business card design in Pinterest. And I'm gonna scroll through here and find a business card that I can quickly edit. And then I'm gonna throw my logo on there. So I found a cool business card here that I like. It's got a nice cool foil stamp. So what I'm gonna do is you can right click and click save image as. I'm just gonna drop it into my downloads folder and go into Photoshop. And now what I'm going to do is go to my downloads folder and drop and drag this into Photoshop. So obviously it might be a little bit low res, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just using it as an example. And I'm not saying to copy designs, it's only for education or inspiration or for something really quick. Um, and obviously just curating, it's not yours design. So you can see I've got this uh, photo and what I'm gonna do is press S. On the left hand side, you can see the clone stamp tool. Once you press S, what you wanna do is find an area on the background of the card or whatever mockup it is. Hold Alt or Option, left click once. Now what happens is when I put my mouse over other things and I start to paint, it's going to sample the area that I selected. So if I left click and drag, you can see the little mouse plus button as I move. It's sampling that area up the top there. I can select here and keep doing it. So what I do, I hold Alt and left click and just keep redoing it like this in case it starts going in the yellow. As you can see, it started to go in the corner there. So I just keep sampling on areas where it has a lot of the, of the white. So I can go through here. Like that. And obviously you might notice sometimes it doesn't, you might pick up darker areas or lighter areas. But overall you can see we got rid of it pretty well, right? So I'm just going to jump into Illustrator real quick. And I'm just going to grab one of my logos here. Control C. Control paste, drop this in like that. And then I'm gonna drop it in, and already that looks kind of cool. Typically what I do to make it blend more is I'll double click on my layer. And if you go to the blend mode here, typically if you hold older option and you drag this one, it will start to blend. So it says this layer or underlying layer. So it depends which side, if it's light or dark. So you can see here, Hold Alt and you can see it starts blending with the paper a little bit. So I'm going to do it like a tiny bit and then press OK. I can also make the opacity like 90% as well. And then, it, and then just make it a bit smaller. And if I want to make it emboss, I'll double click on my layer again. Bevel and emboss. And sometimes I can just drop a little bit like that just to make it look like it's popping outside. And then I want to add a color overlay because I want it to be the color of the card there, as you can see. And we've added our logo and it's already looking pretty cool. And that's pretty much how I use the stamp tool. And it's good for like something quick if you want to manipulate something. And this is how you can use it for your advantage. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial, guys. Let me know if this was interesting, if this is boring. Thanks so much for watching. Smash the like button and hit subscribe.